Number 12, a car is driven east for a distance of 50 km, then north for 30 km, and then in a direction 30 degrees east of north for 25 km. Sketch the vector diagram and determine the magnitude and the angle of the car's total displacement from its starting point. So let's first draw the movement. Let's say the starting point is this point over here. And first, the car goes to the east for 50 kilometers. So this is 50 kilometers. And let's say that our x and y plane is like this. So we can say that this is a vector a equals to 50 in the i direction kilometers. And the second movement is 30 kilometers to the north so it should be something like this this is 30 kilometers let's call it vector b which is equal to 30 in the j direction kilometers and finally uh, 30 degrees east of north so this is north over here this is east over here so the movement goes to this direction, making 30 degrees with the, the north direction. So we can see that it, we can easily see that this is 60 degrees, right? And we can decompose this vector over here. So we can write it as a x component and a y component. The x component, let's say this is vector c, right? This is vector c, which is equal to the to the x component plus the y component. The x component would be 25 multiplied by cosine of 60 degrees in the in the i direction plus 25 sine of 60 degrees in the j direction and everything in kilometers. So those are, are our three vectors that we have in the car movement. And this is the drawing that we had to do. So now we want to find out the magnitude of the vector. But first we have to sum everything up. So we have to do A plus B plus C. So we have to sum the three vectors. And I guess it's easier if we just replace vector C by numbers, I guess, or not. Well, we, we can do everything at, at once. So we can sum. Remember, when you sum vectors, you sum only the, the values that are in the same direction. So you sum i with i, j with j, and that's it. So if you sum everything, you would find, let's see, 62.5 in the i direction plus 51.7 in the j direction don't forget to include the unity which is kilometers and uh, let's say it's this vector over here is vector r so the magnitude of the vector r is equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared and this gives us 81 kilometers so this is the answer of letter A letter B the angle of the car's total displacement from its starting point so if you want to know the angle of this vector over here this is the vector and we want to find this angle over here so remember how we can do that the angle is the inverse tangent function of the y component over the x component and this is equal to the inverse function of the tangent of the y component which is 51.7 over 62.5 and this gives 
us 40 degrees. That's it. 40 degrees. And this is the answer of letter B.